Alright, one more. Let's do this one here. Okay. Um, no, this one here. Okay. So we're gonna model. We're gonna model the equation first. Okay. So we're gonna model it. And so negative two x minus seven equals three. So we're gonna first put a line. And so we're gonna put two negative x's. And seven negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, and then three positives on the other side. One, two, three. Okay, three positives. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we cannot take from both sides because, like the problem before, if we notice, we have positives on both sides. Well, in this case, we don't have positives on both sides. We have negatives and we have positives. So you can't take them away. What you have to do is you have to add the opposite. And we gotta get rid of these guys. And the only way to do this is to add the opposite. The opposite of a negative is a positive. So we're gonna add what we call zero pairs. And you need to add as many as you need to get rid of all these negatives that you see there. And so we need to add seven of them. So we're gonna add one to each one. And then we have here, and then we have here, okay? What I did to one side, I gotta do to the other side because I gotta keep it balanced. If not, it won't stay balanced. Three, four, five, six, seven. And now I have seven on both sides. What happens to these guys, we call these zero pairs. So these guys go away. They have a value of zero. They don't care anymore. We have a total here of 10 and we have two negative X's. So these two negative x's are gonna split these 10 positives. And so that means that if I'm gonna split them, these 10 positives are gonna be dispersed or divided into these two x's. That means each of these guys is gonna get five because there's 10 and there's two x's, so each one will get five. Now let's do it algebraically and see if we get that. Negative two x minus seven equals three. So we're gonna put here negative two x minus seven equals three. Okay, so we're gonna solve it algebraically now. And so algebraically, we would do the opposite. Step one, do the opposite, but it's subtracting, so the opposite of subtracting would be to add. So we're gonna add. These guys cancel, you bring this down, negative two x equals three plus uh, seven is 10. Okay, and so now you have Multiplication, because when they're next to each other, it's multiplication. Do the opposite. The opposite is to divide. Divide by negative 2. These cancel, because it goes to 1. And then this is negative 2. Don't forget your Dorito man rule. Okay. Negative. Your Dorito man rule is negative, negative, and a ne positive divided by a negative. Positive, I use the positive. I use the negative, that means my answer is going to be negative. And so 10 divided by 2, a half of 10 is 5. Oh, negative 5. I hope this helps. And uh, good luck. Tengo un día. Adios.